Okay, so today we're going to be doing just some normal Twixter but with my flow frames. Um, kind of similar to Ring's Twixter but he uses like a software to make the warps less pronounced and I don't have that. So I have these flow frames that I made. You can see it's quite fast. I've extended the clips to how long I want it to last for. That's why some are quite long, some are short. And there's still some f clips from the flow frames afterwards. So I don't want this clip, I only want to twix to the first bit. But I want this clip to last this long, that's why it's like this. Same with these clips as well. I want to twix to this bit as well as this bit. But there's going to be some other clips um, after that because it's all flow framed. I don't have any music which is why I've just kind of randomly placed it at a random length. Um, but you do the how long you want it to last for um, by yourself. So I'm just going to use normal Twixter for this. And do five. Well, always keep the value at 100. Then Make sure you have a hundred at the start and the very end if you want to slow down and speed up. Then in the middle I would change it to around 10. And then I'm going to use the graph I have here. Or actually, like this. Save that as extra. And then at the end here, Twixter 2, this, now we're just going to see how this looks. I realised I didn't start it when I wanted them to start moving, which is here. That was my fault because he was just kind of talking here, so I need to move it to where he was moving. Like here make it go back to the length it was redo it and it will turn on like this there are some warps in the arms but when you add like transitions and stuff like that it won't really be visible you can also change the Blend to motion weighted blend, inverse. You don't really want it as forward. Motion sense all the way at the top. Best. And that's how you'd start it with a clip that's just kind of normal, that isn't really a fight scene which is here. I'm just going to make this one the same length, because um, I'm going to copy and paste it. Because it's just him standing up, and I want to see if you can... If you have most of the stuff that's like the same speed, you can just copy and paste, um, but that's all up to you. Yeah, so you, you can see it's warping at the end, so that means it's either lasting for too long or my graphs need to be for longer. So I'm going to delete every keyframe except for the start and end one, which is just one. Now I'm going to... Because it needs to slow down more, I'm going to do 10 here, but also 10 here. So it has a space where it's just only 10. And then we're going to add our Twixter. You might experience a glitch where sometimes the keyframe glitches. So you just have to change the value to like one 
beneath, so for example, 22 to 21. I might make this slower and lower the value to around 5. Because again, the graph isn't always the same, it can be either too slow or too fast and I want to tighten the graph here, tighten the graph here We'll see how that is. Yeah, this is a lot better. You can use that, that you can use this kind of twix stuff for intros as well. Mmm, gonna make this a bit longer. And I'll make this the same length. I guess, again, I don't have any music, so I'm just kind of... I don't have any beats to mark it on. I could have gotten music now that I think about it, but... It doesn't matter, really. Um, save your Twixter setting um, as a preset, so... Like this. So you don't have to keep typing in the same settings. Then again, start frame, last frame, uh, 100. Then in the middle, depending how slow you want it to be, um, do what you need. I think I will do like 6 or something. the graph that's good now if we copy and paste it to the next clip and see how that fits together. You can see how there's barely any warps. There might be the tiny bit, but for the most part they don't really matter all that much. Like that one, I think I'm gonna have to... Yep, yeah, okay, that one has warp. <laughs> so this one, I'm just gonna move it, I'm gonna copy and paste the effect on it, but then move it so it's only here and that's how you do it um, you, we can test it on another scene if you'd like, for example. Let's find a scene. Let's do this scene here. That one. I'm gonna start it at maybe this point to actually now that I think about it, it might not. Maybe this one, yeah. This this kick scene. Yeah, this is perfect. There. There. So you do have to find perfect scenes, like scenes that are really fast probably won't work with this. 
but scenes that have some like good movement and stuff that might work yes yeah, so there's some warp here but it's smooth like there's not much warp to be noticed at all it's kind of like rings twixer but he has this yeah there's I can't remember, it was like interpolation software or something that can get rid of these kind of warps here. Now if we kind of just see how it all looks together. done it's quite simple to be honest if you use this is for flow frame twixtering I do already have a method on YouTube for normal like clips but it doesn't really work as well as this does so it's really all up to you I hope you enjoyed <laughs>